Hi, I'm Carl. I'm a small church pastor. And today I want to walk you through something um, that might be helpful for some of you if you are on Twitter. If you're on Twitter uh, right now, you probably just simply tweet by going on Twitter, putting in your tweet, hitting send, and that's it. But wouldn't it be great if there was a way that you could put something on Twitter in advance so that it comes out later, maybe in the middle of the night when you're sleeping, because uh, some part, some other country and some other time zone, you want to put out a message to that. Well, you can do that, and it's really easy. So I'm going to show you uh, in this video how to do that. The first thing you want to do is go to a search engine like Google and put in the word tweet deck like I've already put right here. Tweet deck. And then when you click it, you're going to go to twitter.tweetdeck.twitter.com. Uh, tweet so because you see it's a .twitter.com, you know that it's actually put up by Twitter itself, which is always good when you're going to use an app for a particular social media. It's always good if that app is actually done in tandem with or designed by that particular social media uh, platform. So what you're going to do is right here, you're going to go into sign up now. And when you go into sign up now, it's going to ask you for your Twitter ID and it's going to ask you for your Twitter password. It's that simple. Once you do so, you'll be set up. I'm already set up. So I'm going to log into mine. My automatic sign in will come up. And this is my tweet deck. Now, I usually have more than this on, but I've only put a couple on here now so I can add them later and you can see how it goes. What you end up getting is a, 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 a page that looks like this on a laptop, okay? And over here is where you can put a new tweet in. We'll walk through that in a moment. Then here you have different columns, one column after another, that you can designate to do certain things. Right here is where my tweets that I've already scheduled to go out are listed. So, for instance, tomorrow morning I'm going to put day 805 of um, me putting out 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 23, which I think is the most appropriate verse in the world for Twitter. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels. I've been reminding people of that for over 800 days. Still hasn't cleaned up Twitter yet. I'm going to keep doing it. But that's, so this is my past on, this is my future on Twitter, what's still to come out that I've scheduled. This here is what I've put out in the past, both what I've scheduled and what I put out just, you know, on the spur of the moment. So I can go pat back my on my own timeline and see everything that I wrote on Twitter by scrolling down here. I can add other columns and let me show how you, you how that's done. Click over here to the plus button, click on there. And here are the options that you can do. Home means you're going to read everything on Twitter just like you would on your phone. User is what I've already done. So you see the things that I've already done. Notifications is an interesting one. It tells you anytime somebody mentions you on Twitter. So I'm going to click that and you'll see how it adds. So I'll just add column. And now you'll see there's now a new column that shows here are times that people have retweeted me or liked me or mentioned me so that I can see all the activity involving me online. I can go on later and I can add something else. I can add trending articles, for instance. If I'm interested in what trends are hitting, I can click that. If I want to uh, click on messages so that I can go to a separate column for everybody who's private messaged me. I'm not going to put that up now because those are private messages between me and them, and I don't want to uh, betray their confidence in that. Uh, so you can see, and you can come up with your own collection. For instance, if you've got a group of people that you want to follow that have to do with ministry or that have to do with a hobby that you like, you click on collection, you create the collection, you give it a name, you give it a description, and then you simply, then it creates a column over here that you add anybody to it that you want to. You just simply put in their Twitter handle and you can create a list of your own and you can make that list public so others can see it or you can keep it private so it's only for you but you can create a collection there. But the main reason we're doing this today isn't for all of that. It's to show you how to pre-schedule something to run on Twitter. So let's take a look at how I do this here. What you want to do is, well, in fact, let me, let me do it this way. I'm going to open up my website because here's what I do. Every time I write an article, I go down and I go through the article and I take anywhere from eight to 10 to a dozen um, moments in that article that are tweetable. And I'll tweet one out as soon as I write the article. And then I'll set up a bunch, a series of tweets for weeks, for days, weeks, and even months out ahead of time so that this article keeps coming back on people's Twitter feeds, but with different uh, parts of the article mentioned. So here's what I'm going to do. Um, Let's just let's just grab uh, let's just grab a piece from here. There we go, right here. From out of point number two, I'm going to grab a point that I think somebody later might want to read about. I'm going to drop it in here. Then I'm going to give it a couple of spaces. Then I'm going to go back here and I'm going to grab the URL from up here, copy it, bring it over, and drop it in. 
Now, that's my tweet. When it shows up, it will show this, and then it will show a link to this article. But now I want to say, when do I want it to come out? Well, I go down here to schedule tweet, and it gives me a simple calendar. April, May, June, I can go about over a year. I haven't found the end of it. It goes at least a year and a half ahead because I've, I've checked that far ahead. But let's say today I want to just do it next week, on, on this day next week. So I click the day. And then I go up here and I can change the time. I don't want to make it 542 AM. I want to PM. I want to make it AM. So I click on that. It automatically changes to AM. So now this will go out at 542 AM on April the 22nd. I know that because it shows me up here, 542 AM, Thursday, 22nd of April, 2021. And if I click here, it's now in my queue. It's now scheduled for that time next week. I can keep adding that as many times as I want to. I can also direct message somebody at a time that I want. I can add an image or a video and then schedule the tweet. I can do anything that I want to do on Twitter, <clears throat> but I can pre-schedule them and I can pre-schedule as many as I want to. I have, I have not yet reached the limit of it. It's all completely free. It's all available for you if all you need right now is to have your Twitter account. So <clears throat> if that's helpful for you to be able to put things out ahead and to be able to manage your Twitter account, I like it because I don't have to keep going back to Twitter to keep adding things. I want to send out three, four, five, six Twitter messages a day so that people are regularly hearing from me, but I don't want to be on Twitter five or six times a day. So every time I write an article, I get on there, I spend maybe 20 minutes scheduling things out for days, weeks, months, up to a year in advance sometimes. And then I walk away and I don't have to think about it. And then once a day I go in, I check my feed, I see what's happening, I respond to things. And if sometime I come up with a clever little thing that I want to put out live, I add that to the list as well. But this really helps to control and manage. It saves time. It makes helps us coordinate so that we've got a strategy for Twitter. And it's all free and it's all really simple to use. I hope if you're on Twitter, this is something you can use. And I hope as you tweet that you do try to follow as we all should follow that uh, that reminder that I've been putting out for over 800 days now. Don't have anything to do with foolish and stupid arguments because you know they produce quarrels, especially on Twitter. All right. Thanks. If this was helpful to you, go ahead and subscribe with the button below either to our YouTube channel or to carlvaders.com. That way you'll get all of these how-to videos as soon as they come out, usually about four or five days ahead of the general public. All right. Thanks. We'll see you next time.